Hi guys, I'm Gemstone from www.debutingspirit.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. Now, before I get into things, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I have done a report for all the signs. And what this report is, is because we're kind of more further along into the year, I've made this just report just going through all the readings that I've done um, from 2015, from the start up until now. And it's just sort of looking at the themes of what has been coming up in your readings to sort of give you some a guide and a direction in terms of, you know, what is to come further, like within 2015. Again, it's not going to be like hugely detailed because I am going to continue on doing these monthly ones. So that will always be filling in the gaps. But it's just a good, um, it's almost like a compass for you to sort of just look at and see where things are heading, see how, how things have, you know, you've evolved throughout that time period. So, okay. And also, do check out my Facebook page. Uh, the link to my website is going to be down below for you to see the report. And the, the link also for you to like my Facebook page is going to be down below. I want you to like it because I'm doing more on there. I'm doing stuff like every day, posting something on there. And, you know, doing daily inspirational messages as well. So, yes, do check that out. Um, I've also pulled some runes. <clears throat> so, this is slightly different. I pulled some runes this month to see what you know messages that they can add as well so I'll come to those but um, what I'm seeing for you generally I think the big message that I'm seeing for you Libra is that things are going to be changing swiftly this month swift changes that's what I'm seeing loads of completions <laughs> loads of completion cards I'm looking at here so um, they might be dealing with some endings for sure, um, this month, but I don't, I don't feel like it's all, it's all gonna be challenging. It's not. I don't think so. I mean, you have to do. You, there, there are some upheavals. I'm not gonna lie and say there's not. Um, but I feel like there's gonna, there's the, the, the time of upheaval is shifting. May is gonna be the time when it shifts. Because I know we've been going through some challenges, we're going to be we're going through some difficult times, but I think May is going to be a bit of a, a, a month where there's going to be a bit more ease. Because things are changing quite abruptly. So, let me start the reading. And I've also pulled an Angel Answers card to sort of provide a general message for the reading too. For your finances and your work is the Three of Cups with the Seven of Cups. These are cards together, when I look at them, they're not, it's not a bad situation at all. The Three of Cups is, is like celebrations and it's a sense of accomplishment and you're celebrating with people that are around you, people that love you, support you and that have probably been rooting, <laughs> you know, you on the whole time. So I feel for some of you guys, if you are um, unemployed, you could be getting a job this month, it could be a good job. Not just, you know, any old job, but it's going to be a job that is going to be, I feel like there's a sense of abundance that is coming through. So there's going to be some money coming through that is really needed for you. And what I'm seeing is, again, it's a time of harvest. So the time of toil came before it. And that's where I guess the difficulties was coming through. And now it's going to be a time of harvest and you celebrate in the harvest that has now come about. And so that's a beautiful experience. And I feel like um, because you are a person that considers others, you think about others, it's almost like this achievement isn't just going to be a win for you, but it's going to be a win for the people that are around you as well. Because I think that you're also going to be looking to support other people with the support that you're getting or with this opportunity that you're receiving. So it's almost like it's going to have this sort of ripple effect where... Yeah, it's your success, but your success is also going to benefit the lives of other people around you. And um, the, the the card that came next to it, though, is saying that there's going to be some um, uncertainties in terms of making a choice. And so even though there's this success, you might be thinking to yourself, OK, this is really great, but is this what I wanted to manifest? Is this what I wanted to create? Should I be trying to create something else? So it's almost like something good can be happening, but you're questioning it. You're either questioning 
the, the what has come through or you're questioning what you should do with it and i feel like it's saying libra please don't overthink things don't think things that are just not there because it's almost like you could worry up a storm and you just don't need to do that to yourself because you're just going to be confused and again you're not going to spend the time celebrating the victory instead you're going to be spending the time worrying about what to do with it and um and know that you deserve it know that you 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 know you whatever is coming through now is for you because again you've gone through the toil so now it's time for the harvest so don't question the harvest <laughs> don't question when the universe gives you something that is good just take it and run with it and just enjoy it for what it is so um so yeah again don't let even worries or fears or, or your your mind just run rampant because i feel like that's at risk of taking place um or even for some of you guys, maybe the, where the confusion is coming from is maybe you've had more than one opportunity come through for you as well. So maybe again, like this harvest, you know, might have brought through maybe even more than one lucrative um, opportunity. And maybe that's where the confusion is coming through and you're like, well, what do I choose? Which one do I go with? you know like wow all this stuff is happening which one do i do but then at the same time with the seven of cups card is saying don't delude yourself as well so it's sort of like don't get caught up in what is not real um or again let your mind run rampant so um make the choice decide decide based on what makes the most sense for you right now or what it is that is tangible right now because i almost feel like with this seven of cups energy you don't want to mess up this opportunity but i feel like it kind of could mess up things in a way because it's again you're not seeing things as they really are and i think the reason why that is is because you're overthinking things and so you might be thinking of things or circumstances that aren't really there so that's why i say keep things simple don't overthink don't overanalyze it you need to be you're, you're a very logical person but these are cards that are cups energies so it's it's almost like the logic isn't so much there right now and it's more dealing with the emotions <laughs> and i think sometimes when we're a bit when we when we count more on our logic um sometimes we just don't know how to deal with that whole emotional thing when it comes through sometimes it can just make us a bit like crazy like i don't know you know i, I this, this isn't what i deal with you know um I'm, i usually deal with things being very black and white i don't deal with things being gray you know so and it seems that i think that's where the confusion is coming through maybe things just aren't black and white and because of that it's like you just feel like what do i do what do i do what do i do so again whatever successes come through celebrate them and please don't get caught up in this sort of frustrating energy that could be coming through for you so for those of you that are in relationships it's the six of cups with the ten of pentacles i like these cards for you it's showing that I feel oh <laughs> I almost feel like for you Libras that you it's a family. You may be starting a family. You could be starting a family. You could be thinking about starting a family. Or things could be moving in that direction. A relationship is becoming much more serious. You might, if you haven't been living together, you might decide to live together. You might decide you want to uproot and be a family. There's emotions and feelings of the past, of happy times, joyous times. So what i like about this energy is that it's it's a love that is innocent with the six of cups it's a love that almost is like a it's it's a friendship it's a family but it's a love that doesn't judge and or 
or that hasn't been tainted with you know the complicated things that can happen in love and emotions that make things sticky and messy so um again it's just it's just sort of love in its more pure form and i think that's what you could be experiencing if you're in a relationship so if if you've been going through some relationship issues it can actually improve <laughs> this month and if things can become more solidified and again it's like if you um or i i even feel like this month even for some of you guys if it doesn't happen that you move in with somebody which i think for some of you guys it could be the case that you do actually move in with somebody in the month of may or you're making plans to the six of cups is saying that that's what you wish for and that's what you're hoping for and your wish might be granted um if that is what you really are wanting that serious relationship and that um, stability and again there's this thoughts of the future as well so you might be thinking of the future of your relationship and might maybe even uh, it, 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 it can go in two directions like there's a sense of the past in these cards too but there's also to me a sense of future as well so it's like maybe bringing those maybe bringing the, your experiences together it's about your the legacy that you leave as well Thinking about, again, the future of having children, thinking about the future of settling down, thinking of the future of maybe financial commitments that you need to make to be a family or to have a future with somebody. So, yeah. And then we move on to those of you that are single. You have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords with the Ten of Rods. Four of Swords is saying, take a break, rest, relax. Again, don't overthink things, overanalyze things. Now is not the time for that. Ten of Rods is saying, things can get on top of you. There can be burdens, stresses, issues that you have to go through. Uh, I don't want to say that, um, you know, like, just because you're single, this is, what, you know, you have to be going through all of these experiences like you know because it almost would sound like oh those of you that are in relationships are just going to have a wonderful time and those of you that are single are just going to experience hardship <laughs> in your life right now i don't think that's true i think that what these cards might be saying is maybe may if you're not in a relationship and if a relationship isn't taking your focus um you're going to be more centered around what you what you're doing in your life for yourself and what it might be saying is where you you may not have a relationship situation going on you may be more focused on work or responsibilities or your day-to-day -day life and you may be feeling like things are getting on top of you maybe you're feeling like you don't have the support or the help that you need it could be saying that if you feel like there's a lot that you have to manage on your own it's saying ask for help don't feel like you have to go through things all by yourself it's also saying do not wear yourself thin and take breaks when you need to take breaks and um and it's also a card of sort of retreating and and again not um it's it's not the time of of it, it might be that you're really wanting to progress with things with, with things that you feel responsible for or things that you have created but it's saying you know if you try to push with these things too much again they can get on top of you so try to do things in moderation as and when you can you don't have to achieve achieve everything at once you can take your time doing things gradually so again if you are not in a relationship and you kind of are really centered on your work strictly and um and you're just or, or your responsibility so it might not only just be work it could be just responsibilities that you have in general it's saying try not to feel obligated to take on too much for yourself and it even could be saying that sometimes you you may even be taking on too much in terms of helping other people like maybe you're even taking on burdens that don't belong to you and it's sort of like you're taking on other people's burdens maybe because they're not able to take it on themselves so it's saying yes it's wonderful to be helpful and to be kind but you also have to think about yourself and your own well-being in the process as well and make sure that there is a balance between the two 
Okay, so what I see in terms of your um, spiritual cards, you have very interesting cards, Libra. You have two major arcana cards, so these are big time messages. You have the tower and you have the wheel of fortune. Very big time spiritual cards. What these cards are signifying is that you are going through a very significant spiritual experience in the month of May. To me, this is showing that things are taking a turn in a way that you probably didn't even expect. Things are going to be much better than you expected them to be. Challenges are being broken down. And that's an interesting thing because the tower showed up for... Um, Sagittarius as well and I well shuffled these cards and it kind of had a similar message as well uh, of sort of things being broken down completely in order for something new to come in so again I'm feeling like this is connected with monetary situations so this could be a, I'm really sensing money coming through a significant amount of money coming through for Libras and it's, it's changing it, it, it could be to the point that it makes such a difference to the way you live and what you're able to do that again if if there's been money situations that have been quite difficult this money is really going to help to make things better really going to help it's really going to be useful to you and what i see with the runes is that the runes is giving a very similar message and the uh, the first one that actually showed up was a it was the blank rune, and that sort of represents the unknown, the uncertainty. So maybe that's what you experience—a time of unknown, things being unpredictable, or things or times where it's almost like it feels like nothing is happening, and then all of a sudden it's moving, things are changing. Some there's a breakthrough, there's an entering in that brings about an awakening. So spiritually, you are being awakened, Libra with opportunities that the universe is providing you yeah there is this active energy there's an active force that is coming in and with this active force it's just breaking down the foundations of every single thing everything that could even you know is this is really a transformative a truly transformative period in your life a significant period in life and it and what this awakening is causing you is lack of burden so if you felt burdened by life burdened by something burdened by your finances burdened by a situation that you felt that you just couldn't really control it's gonna get better for you it's gonna be much better and to be honest, when I'm looking at your cards, generally, it's showing up in different areas. It's showing up work is going to be, you know, there's going to be celebrations. Relationships can go really well. Even if you're single, yeah, there's this challenge. But then it's, it's the ten of rods. The ten also represents a completion as well. So even if things have become like, yeah, again, you have all these responsibilities and stuff like that. It can be the ending of that as well. So that can be a moving energy, a passing energy. So again, it's it, it can represent a change in that respect. So there's big significant changes. And again, like I said, big significant transformations and endings to situations of difficulty. So what is so interesting is <laughs> the card that showed up for you is actually, this, I pulled this card first. And then I, when I looked at it, I was like, I'm not sure <laughs> how this reading is going to go when I pull these tarot cards. But um, it said unlikely. That was from the Angel Answers deck. And um, when I look at this card and it says unlikely, is that, Again, I feel like it's almost connecting with this Seven of Cups right now. I feel like what this unlikely is, is again, you questioning things that are going to be happening in the month of May. It could be a case of things happen in such a dramatic way or in just such an instant way that you might not even want to believe that it's possible that these things can even be happening to you. And so you might be, again, sort of having an attitude of, Oh, is this really happening? Is this really happening to me? Because again, it's like, I think the the way we can be, we can be so level-headed about things 
that we think that we know what life can give us or what opportunities are going to be available to us and sometimes when something happens and it's completely out of the blue and it's better than anything we would have ever expected our first response can be is this really happening is this really real <laughs> you know but it's sort of the what these cards are saying is that it is real and if anything you're the one that could sort of mess up stuff because <laughs> it's happening you know so it's saying just be open to receiving you know like if you look at this angel that's here in the card i don't know if you can see it properly i hope i don't know because he's just looking like white right now but you can see her arms are opened so it's a case of being open to what the universe gives you and not wanting to you know assess it analyze it up and down and everything but it's just a case of just being thankful and just receiving it so that's the reading for you in the month of may libra i'll see you bye